Okay, I'm just going to show you the multi Wii SE Creus board setup. It's very hard to see the writing, so I'm just zooming up on that before we start. Okay. And you can see there's the barometer for keeping your altitude. Okay, now what we want to do is um, set up this tricopter. Okay, so basically just want to go here to the information sheet. Now we just want to have a look at the setup here. So it's saying that the um, left motor should be number 11 and it should be spinning counterclockwise. The right motor should be number 10 counterclockwise and the back motor should be number 9 counterclockwise as well. Um, now, uh, number three is the your servo. Okay, so we'll, do, we'll start by connecting all that up. Okay, so I've labeled the wiring, except for the servo, which we don't need, of course. Now, you might also note that on the end here, um, there it is. So you can see the G plus S. Okay, G is for ground, black, red, plus, and signal, which is normally white. Okay, so we'll connect up the um, the servo wire with the black facing outwards, and that's going to connect onto D3. D3 is is that one there. Okay, and next we will connect up the number nine, which is the back motor. So I've labeled there, back, again, black wire facing out, D9 is that one, okay, just make sure they're all lined up properly, okay, next is the D10, which is the right hand motor, um, sorry, just in case you don't know, these are the wires coming off the uh, speed controllers, and I've used the Hobby King um, 18 amp speed controls the SS so again they will that number 10 is going to connect up there and last is the left motor which is number 11 so just make sure we haven't done anything wrong yep and that will connect up over here the last one so again, a little bit hard to see. I'll just confirm that they're the right motors. Yeah, you can kind of see that there. Okay, so D3, D9, D10, D11. Okay, next, we want to connect up the receiver. So we've got roll pitch your... Sorry, first we've got throttle. Throttle, roll pitch your mode. Okay. So throttle on my receiver is the number three. So I'll grab the number three. One, two, three. Now these kind of wires are a little bit tricky. They don't have the red and black, but I've chosen to use the um, the brown wire as the black wire. So I'll keep that towards the outside, and that will become the first wire. So again, throttle number three and just connect that up okay you can see how that's connected there now next we said was um, the aileron which is the roll and aileron is on my one it is channel one which is a mode one and this is similar to it's the ergo receiver which is very similar to the tonigi 9x receiver so so we'll connect that up to the second set of pins there. Okay, next we had the elevator, which is number two. Okay, so elevator connects here on the third set of pins. Um, next is the rudder, which is channel four. Channel 4, you can see it's getting a little bit uh, 
messy in here. Just make a little bit of room. Again, so that just clicks in there. And make a bit of room there. So the last one is the auxiliary channel, which is channel 5, which I've hooked up to my gear switch. Okay, and the purpose of that is to enable all this auto leveling stuff which you need to do in the in the multi wii GUI okay so um, just double check that all those are in properly uh, make sure all the negatives are pointing outwards uh, and again make sure all the negatives in the receiver are pointing towards the bottom if you're using this type of receiver the negative is on the bottom okay so that's about it. Now um, what I'm going to try to do is I'll, I'll see if we can start him up. So I'll fire that up. As you can see I'm using the Open9X firmware on this one. Um, yeah, I forgot to change it from Y4 back to a try but I'll fix it up. Okay now what I'm going to do is I'll connect it all up. So just bear with me here. Okay, just put the battery monitor on and I'll plug the battery in. Okay, so look, I have flashed this with uh, version 2.1 multi Wii um, firmware and I've adjusted that for tricopter. So I'm just going to see if this is going to work um, you should be able to fire this thing up using the right okay there you go props are going okay now what we should be able to do is just move that back a touch so with a little bit of throttle and I'm using mode 1 here now if I use the If I use the roll to the right, you'll see the right go down. And if I use the roll to the left, you'll see the left go down there. And if I put some elevator forward, you'll see the tail go up a bit. There you go. And down. You see the tail slows down. Sorry, I'll just fix that up. Okay, so we'll just switch that off and then we'll turn the motors off. But that's about it. I just wanted to quickly show you how that worked. Okay, good luck. If there's any questions, um, let me know. But basically, just make sure you select the correct model. And, um, you know, for those of you who are running, so your hex in hex 6 in x mode um, just make sure all your motors are spinning that way and make sure you've wired up all your motors um, into those particular locations on the board to match the numbers okay now if your motors are spinning the wrong way okay all you need to do is um, is change two of these wires around okay so if you've got them soldered together you're gonna have to cut them if you've got them plugged in with bullet connectors um, you can just unplug them and um, and just swap two of those around okay so um, yeah good luck with your projects okay